I am Adil Kumar sharing with you questions from previous test paper on probability distribution. Now in this particular video, we will have a look at the question number 8 from this IB test paper on probability distribution. Here is a part of this question. The question is, a box holds 240 eggs. The probability that an egg is brown is 0.05. Find the expected number of brown eggs in the box. B is find the probability that there are exactly 15 brown eggs in the box. C is find the probability that there are no brown eggs in the box. And D is if two boxes are selected at random, find the probability that there are no brown eggs in either box. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now in this particular case, we are given 240 eggs. Probability that an egg is brown is given to us. Now we can say that the random variable x, let's define our random variable. So random variable x we are defining as, uh, as a success for brown egg, right? So we are saying x is brown egg. So that is the definition of our random variable. So, so the probability for success, which is P, is given to us is 0 0.5, 0 0.05. So probability of failure, Q, will be 1 minus 0 0.05, which will be 0 0.95, got it? So this is a Bernoulli trial where you have success or failure so if the egg is brown, then success, whose probability is 0 0.05, and if it is not brown, is failure, right? So it is has a probability of 1 minus 0 0.05, which is 0 0.95. Now with that, let's answer the questions. And also, n is equals to 240. So let me write down here, n equals to 240, right? So we are going to use these values to calculate the answers for all these parts. First one here is, find the expected number of brown eggs in a box. So what are the expected number of brown eggs? Expected number of brown eggs will be equals to NP, right? Since this is binomial distribution, that is what expected number of brown eggs will be, N times P. And clearly, N is 240 and p is given to us as 0 0.05 so once we multiply that we get our answer right so we have 240 times 0 0.05 equals to 12 as the expected number of brown eggs in the box now part b is find the probability that there are exactly 15 brown eggs in the box right exactly 15 that means the probability for x equals to 15 right so small x equals to 15 will be equals to we'll apply the formula so we have 240x right so 240 out of which we want how many we want 15 right so so you can use ncr right and success for 15 and failure for the rest which is 240 minus 15 right so it is 240 minus 15. So that is the formula and that should give you the answer. Correct? So that is equals to, we can write this as uh, 240 NCR. So it is P to, P is uh, 0 0.05. Let me write down 0 0.05 to the power of 15 and Q is 0 0.95 to the power of, if we take away 15, you get 225. Correct. Let's use the calculator to find the answer. Correct? So we have 240 C15 times uh, 0 0.05 to the power of 15 times 0.95 to the power of 225, which is equal to, I mean, I made a mistake. 
let, let me re redo it right so let's take a calculator and find the answer so what we have now here is 240 c15 and then we can multiply this by 0 0.05 to the power of 15 times 0.95 to the power of 2 to 5 right and that is equal to 0. Point, let's write down the answer which is 0 0.0732 we can round that to 3 right so that is the answer for part b part c is find the probability that there are no brown eggs in the box no brown eggs in the box means zero all are not brown that is what it is so let's find the probability for that that is p x is equal to zero so it becomes as equals to 240 c0 uh, p to the power of 0 q to the power of all 240 right so we can calculate this answer as 240 c0 which is 1 and this is also 1 0 0.05 to the power of 0 and we're left with 0 0.95 to the power of 240 right so let's find this answer so it is 0 0.95 to the power of 240 equals 2. So we get 4.5 into 10 to the power of minus 6, right? So that is the solution for part C. Now part D is, if two boxes are selected at random, find the probability that there are no brown eggs in either box, right? So, so there are no brown eggs in the first nor in the second. We know probability for no brown x in one box is 4.5 times 10 to the power of minus 6. So when both are there with AND condition and they are independent events, then we will multiply them, right? So their probability should be equal to 4.5 times 10 to the power of minus 6 times 4.5 times 10 to the power of minus 6, right? So that is what it is. So we already have 4.5. So we can do 4.5. Uh, we can just, because that when you multiply it becomes 10 to the power of minus 12. So we'll do 4.5 times 4.5 equals to, in decimals, 20.25. So let me write this as equal to 20.25 times 10 to the power of minus 12, right? So that is what our answer is for part D. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope these examples from the test papers help you to get better marks. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.